He should be fanai and ishik and wherever he looks, he just sees me. You know, has obviously given us a few minutes before he comes on. And Sufi Shanks had touched upon a point. He was saying he went to his village. And in his village, subhanAllah, there's many mountains. And each village we went to, those have big speakers blasting outside of the mountains. So like we have here, this is inside. But they would put it outside to so blast to the other villages. Allah. Whether the method was in the middle of the night, whether it was in the morning, whenever, it was just blasting out. And so we saw this area in Kashmir, the hills of Kashmir, where we were doing the zikr. Subhanallah, you know, as the Quran tells us, okay, when Dawood used to do the zikr of Allah, Subhanallah. he used to do the zikr near the mountains, Subhanallah. he used to do the zikr near the animals, and the mountains and everything used to do the zikr with him. Subhanallah. So when he used to say Subhanallah, the mountains used to echo with Subhanallah, and they used to do zikr with him. Subhanallah, Subhanallah there's a famous waqiyah, okay, Dawood al-Islam, you know, was doing the zikr for so long, and one little, little frog came. And Dawood did a certain zikr and said, Ya Allah, I think I'm the only one that has done this zikr. And this little frog spoke. Allah. And said, Dawood, I have been here for so many years and I have been doing this zikr. Allah. 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 Meaning even Allah. the animals, you know, who Allah Ta'ala gives the tawfiq to, to do his remembrance, do his remembrance. Allah. 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 Yeah, but subhanAllah, when we were in those valleys, and we did the zikr, the mountains were gunji with zikr. Allah, 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 Allah. And we would get happy at this. Allah, Allah, Allah. Okay, this is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam famous hadith have narrated you again and again. When they passed by the mountains, the Messiah of Allah was saying, the Mufaridun have overtaken. Allah, Allah. And the Sahabi called, Ya Rasulullah said, who are the Mufaridun? And the Messiah of Allah replied, the men and women who remember Allah much. Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. The Messiah of Allah was, when he looked at the mountain, he remembered because the mountain was doing zikr. So the mountains pass and they talk to one another as the hadith tells us and they say has any zakarin passed you by? And when one of the zakarins has passed by the mountain is happy and congratulates the other one. Okay, mashallah, a zakarin has passed by you, through you, on you. And then they get happy. Meaning even the mountains do zikr. You know, this is why the Masha of Allah used to praise Uhud. Uhud bar is a massive bar on Madina Sheikh. Outskirts of Madina Sheikh. The Messenger of Allah used to say, okay, Uhud is a, is a mountain, we love it and it loves us. And that's why when the Messenger of Allah was once walking up the mountain of Uhud, where Hazrat Sadiq Akbar, Hazrat Umar Farooq and Usman al Ghani, the mountain started shaking, started getting in jazba because of Rasulullah and the Sahabi Qur'an. The Messenger of Allah struck him with his foot and said, okay, you know, Bahar be still because on you is, you know, Rasulullah is, is a Sadiq and two martyrs. Subhanallah. Not just the messenger of Allah, but a Sadiq and two martyrs. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Already predicting the martyrdom of Hazrat Umar and Hazrat Usman. Subhanallah. Yeah, Subhanallah. And then the mountain became still. But they say, why did the mountain move? It was in just one ish. Subhanallah. Rasulullah Subhanallah. the Sahaba climbing it. Also, when we heard these waqiyas, we know these hadith mubarak. So when we went to these places and did zikr, it would give us extra pleasure. Because we knew that we were doing the sunnah of Dawood al Islam. We are doing the sunnah of the Sahaba Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we were doing the zikr with this niyat as well. And we knew that Allah Ta'ala's rahmat is coming because we could feel it. And through that zikr, wherever we went, there was karamika. So the Tariq's up there, he knows. They put a flag on the van on the land cruiser, you know, with our title. And Astana Ali and Achmadi Aslami at Bristol, UK. Wherever we went, the police officer, no one would stop us. They would salute us. And ask him, even when we left and we came back to Bristol, UK, he was still traveling travel the car. And uh, the police would say, okay, you know, where's the sheikh? You know, the police on the pull of me, you know, between me put here and there, there's many bridges and the police, you know. But during our time, the police would salute us and his carry on. Say, go. Even in Lahore, we never got stopped. They will salute us and they will say carry on. Meaning, when you know, your ticket is passed from behind, no one can stop you. No one can stop you. Allah Ta'ala keep us in this mission. So we say the Visha sub has come from Bradford especially for this Nephil. Tomorrow we are traveling to Luton for another Nephil. So without further ado, inshallah, we will give him the time to tell us some very short ishka musti alikana. Subhanallah. Allah Ta'ala raise to be salam. Amin. Allah Ta'ala raise to be salam.